This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from my heart. I'm Gavin Gaddis. Here's what you need to know for today, Thursday, August 29th. First up, the podcast landscape 2024. Sounds Profitable has published the 2024 edition of the Podcast Landscape, a study on audience perceptions of podcasting. This edition, fielded with Signal Hill Insight, surveyed 5,071 Americans aged 18 plus, making it the largest publicly available study of podcasting in the country. Key findings include the fact podcasting is still generating new hits. When asked to list their top five favorite podcasts, respondents still chose familiar shows like The Joe Rogan Experience, but this year five new shows entered the top 20 results. The industry continues to index high with men and the 18 to 34 demographic, meaning podcast audiences aged 55 and up, and women are solid opportunities for audience growth. The study launched with an hour-long presentation by Tom Webster, a recording of which is available on SoundsProfitable.com. Keeping the research rolling, podcasting in the creator economy, a long-term opportunity. In December, the IAB published a study called the Creator Economy Opportunity. Recently, the IAB has published a follow-up document focusing specifically on podcasting's ability to drive influence and engagement. According to an MRI Simmons podcast study from this April, 76% of respondents say they feel close to the host of the podcast they listen to most. 62% feel it's important for a podcast host to have used a product or service they read an ad for. The report also cites Sounds Profitable's ad bargain from earlier this year, which demonstrates podcasting's effectiveness in the lower portion of the sales funnel, with 9% of respondents taking action on a podcast ad in comparison to 3% taking action due to CTV, that's connected television. Next up, Edison Podcast Metrics UK Top 25 Q2 2024. Edison Research's ranker for the Top 25 UK Podcasts by Weekly Podcast Consumer has some new faces with four new entries in the Top 25 and Crime Junkie rejoining the chart after dropping out for Q1. Writer Adam Bowie attributes the shakeup last quarter to two big events, the general election being called in the UK and European Championships with England in the finals. While both of these events took place in early Q3, the build-up discussion during Q2 drove the surge of politics and sports-based podcasting, such as the podcast The Rest is Football, which jumped 11 spots from where it was in Q1. Next up, $100 million podcast deals are back, but not just for any celebrity. After turbulent 2023, big-ticket podcast deals seem to be off the table, yet multiple exclusivity deals have been announced this year, some valued in the hundreds of millions. Alex Cooper is moving her Unwell network from Spotify to SiriusXM. The Kelsey brothers are taking their massively successful New Heights podcast to Wondery, who also nabbed Smartless earlier this year. Meanwhile, the Joe Rogan Experience reportedly fetched $250 million to re-up their Spotify contract sans video exclusivity. The difference with the early COVID boom years of massive podcast deals and now is the big ticket deals are consistently happening with proven podcasts that both currently make money and will for the foreseeable future instead of the promise of a good podcast purely because of a celebrity host. Finally, Gen Z and compassion fatigue, how brands can engage an exhausted generation. Compassion fatigue, a term coined in the early 90s by a nurse who noticed a unique form of burnout affecting caregivers and medical professionals, now feels appropriate to apply to Gen Z. The always online generation has unfettered access to a 24-7 news cycle and never-ending social media feeds of tragedies around the world. CDC data finds 47% of Gen Z reports feeling anxious and 33% say they feel hopeless. Brands can help combat this general fatigue with campaigns centered around solving a problem in an impactful way, especially focusing on infectious positive energy. Given the intimate parasocial connection between podcast hosts and their audiences, podcast ads could be a further shortcut to connecting compassion fatigue Gen Z audiences with brands. As for the rest of the news, Triton Digital is partnering with audio entertainment house Nova Entertainment. Motley Fool Money covers valuable statistics from podcast movement, including Tom Webster's keynote. Skip to 20 minutes and 30 seconds of the podcast if you want to jump to that. Acast UK and Ireland have promoted Sam Shatabi to its executive content director and Jennifer Dollard as content director. And Ryan Barwick from Marketing Brew shares how brands are budgeting big for back to school. 
Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Newton Shadokati, myself, Brian Barletta. This episode is hosted on Spreaker. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us again tomorrow. 